Hello everyone, my name is Victor. Hi everyone, my name is Yaya. And we are the Kingdom, Kingdom Brothers. Brothers. Hello everyone, welcome to the Kingdom Brothers episode number 5. And wow, I mean time flies and today we are already on our fifth episode. So thank you so much guys for watching the videos, you know, even though it is just one people who watch it, you know, because we always believe that we are impacting lives, you know, one video at a time. One person at a time. One person, one video at a time. Mm -hmm. So yeah. today, episode five, but before that, if you have not watched our previous episode, you know, pre episode four, where we talk about two of the books that have really impacted and changed our life, which is just um, over here, definitely check out the link in the description, yes. click on it and go revisit our episode 4 That's right. to learn about what's the title of the book. So, today is mm. special, yes. today is exciting, you know, we are really excited to be talking about this particular subject because it is something that we have been doing since, I don't know, maybe... Last month. No, not two last month. Two months ago. Few, few months ago. For, months me, ago. for me, it has been I think, since um, April this year. And as you can see on the table right here, we have, a, we have a different setup today. We are more chill, relaxed. And today we're going to talk to you guys about some of the lessons or some of the things that we have learned yes. while building Lego bricks. As you guys can Lego see, break. let me just see if we can put it a bit bigger. Yeah, Lego. Yeah, so for those of you watching for the first time, you might be wondering, I mean, Lego is such a childish thing. I mean, what... What lessons could I possibly learn from, you know, building Lego sets? So before I give my thoughts, I would like to uh, invite my brother here to just quickly share, you know, on his journey, on, you know, how it has helped him on a day-to-day -day basis or even his life. So, bro? Yes. So, uh, what do you call that? Lego has been my childhood uh, so-called introvert, <laughs> uh, so-called uh, building game for me. It's very personal for me. So, my sometimes my, my parents bought me some Lego bricks. It's not like uh, those or sh uh, ships or roller coaster or castle uh, kind of setup, but just like normal Lego bricks. So I just build it like uh, try to create my imagination through the Lego bricks. So it helps me through. Uh, uh, boost my imagination, boost my creativity side of me. So that really helps a lot when I was young. So, uh, and, and I think I believe that cultivates me into how I become very creative uh, who, to who I am today. So, and uh, what I got, so uh, actually I didn't touch Lego for so many years. <laughs> and then Victor uh, told me, hey, bro, I, I'm, I'm I'm doing Lego. Oh, Lego, yeah, good, it's a good idea, it's a good idea. For me, I feel that it's a good idea for uh, Victor because it helps his uh, what I call it, uh, uh, mental stability and helps to boost his creativity and his imagination also. And also, it's a very passionate and very, uh, what I call it, a very uh, relaxing uh, kind of uh, uh, so-called environment where I can actually just focus on building that, uh, uh, that, that set brick by brick. You know, and it's, it's, it's very good for me so, because it helps me to really laser focus from the first brick that I built and to all the way to the last brick and it forms a creation. It forms a very beautiful set of a Lego brick like castle. The latest one I did, it was TIE Fighter and also the Jeep. So I got a lot of Lego now. <laughs> so I need, I need to catch up with my building. Yeah, so I for me personally to really recap is to laser focus my uh, my attention to something that I am very passionate about, and that helps me to create a habit. So Lego bricks really uh, cultivate this habit of laser focus for me, lah, for me, and also of course boost my creativity to the next level. Lah. Yeah, that's that's what I find lah, that is very very useful for me, lah, and I really like it. And I and I think I have I've reconnected to my childhood uh, game in the, in the past. So what do you think? Right, I mean, um, just to touch, add on what he mentioned about creativity and imagination, because I believe that many of us adults, when we have grown um, into adulthood, basically, we lost connection with our childhood, basically. We, we, 
I mean, there's this saying that always go that we have an inner child within us. And that I believe, I firmly believe has been reinstated by my um, interest back into Lego. And as per se, you know, what uh, my brother just mentioned about basically imagination is that with, I mean, with the bricks that you have, I mean, as in like this, just every single brick that you have can lead to a whole different level of imagination because there is basically limitless. I mean, it is so amazing to know that there's so much things you can do with it. And I think for me personally, the two main lessons I've learned from building Lego the past few months is number one, patience, really. You really need a lot of patience. That's true. And I think that really helped me because uh, during my course of work, uh, working in customer service line, so you need a lot of patience with uh, people. So <laughs> that really, really helps a lot in a very big way. And number two, I think the, the biggest one is basically allow me to feel like a child again. To feel like a child again. It's like because we, we sometimes have this um, uh, big, personality that we want to portray, you know, in our day-to-day -day life. But sometimes we forgot to take a step back to, you know, just relax and chill and be silly and be, you know, be foolish as a child, you know, just yeah. enjoy the moment, so to speak. Yeah, so I mean, basically, you, the number of sets that we have now, of course, is nothing comparable to what some other people yeah. we see. They basically have, I mean, like what we saw online, they have, they have, a, they have a Lego room. Yes. Lego room. Not not Lego cabinet. A room. A freaking room. All right. Where all the sets they have is all put there. I'm like, in my mind, I was telling, yeah, yeah, that is my dream, man. That is my <laughs> ultimate dream to really have a room where I can put all the Lego sets in there. It will be yeah. so... And when people come to my house, it's like, it will be like a mini museum tour. Yeah, yeah. It's literally like a mini museum tour. And it's just yeah. so amazing. So, I mean, especially for parents who are watching this, mm -hmm. I would say that instead of indulging your kid in, you know, phones, mobile gaming, iPads, you know, stuff like that. I'm not saying it's bad. I'm not saying it's bad. There are a lot of educational apps, you know, that are in these devices. However, too much of it is, is, is not good. I mean, I'm not a parent. He's not a parent himself. So, of course, but this is based on our observation, what we have seen, you know, on our day-to-day -day basis. And Lego can really help stimulate a child's um, motor skills. Yes, exactly. It really will help them because they are using basically their hand eye coordination mm. to really to see all the different different um bricks as you can mm. see all, all this all these little bricks as you can see over over here mm. and to me what i really feel amazing is that a single piece like this can lead to eternal possibility can lead to a lot of possibility it can really help you know, not just children, it can help adults like us to really have, really stretch our imagination to the next level. And that's what we feel that has really, you know, helped us in our life so far. So I encourage you guys to definitely, you know, Lego, go Lego. go try it out. You don't, you don't have to buy the big sets, of course. I mean, just buy the small little one just to build. Yeah, I mean, his, 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 his birthday is coming up, so um, he's got a few surprises for him, you know, there's a few Lego gifts coming up for him. So we are really excited, really excited about it. And we're going to have a road trip, right? Road trip. Yes, we are actually having a road trip this coming Thursday. Yeah. Let, let us know if you if you want to watch our road trip. Uh, we can film that also. If yeah, we definitely will film it because it is something, you know, so amazing. Yeah, yeah so... I think that's pretty much it for yes, yes. this episode. Uh, yes, correct. Pretty quick one today. I mean, sharing about the Lego 
experience. So I think uh, there's a lot of uh, Lego right now. Uh, sorry, uh, Lego outlets uh, in Singapore right now. The latest one is at the uh, uh, Resorts World Sentosa. Yes. World Sentosa, which we both have uh, been there. It's very big. Amazing. Very spacious. Yeah. Uh, your kids can run around, no problem. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's like it's like basically three thousand over square feet of Disneyland in Singapore. <laughs> yeah, for the for the kids. I mean, yeah. for the kids, they will go crazy there. They, yeah, it's just so so amazing, right? So okay. that wraps up our fifth episode. So again, thank you so much, guys, for watching. Remember always to like, to comment, you know, subscribe to the channel, share it around if we brought some value to you. Also, and we will see you guys on episode six. Thank you so much, and have a good day. Goodbye. Bye.